In this video number two of uh, Simbra Calendar Synchronization, we are going to demonstrate how to set up sync between Simbra and Outlook. The following requirements are needed. You need access to Simbra webmail because you need your username and password. You need the URL to share your calendar. So you take this, you maybe prepare it in a notepad document and replace your email with what's written here. Three, download link to a CalDAV synchronizer tool. And you can see the link here. And uh, last, you need a PC with Outlook 365 or one of the newer Outlook version. These two URLs will also be available under the YouTube video if you go to the description. So without further ado, let's start the presentation to show how this is done. I'm now signed into my Simbra mail and I've gone to the calendar. And here you can see my main calendar. Of course, within Simbra, you can also get access to other shared calendars. But at the moment, we are going to share our main calendar in Simbra. And we are going to share that with our main calendar in Outlook. I'm now logged into Outlook and I've gone to the calendar tab down here. And you can see I have different calendars. And uh, the one that I'm using is the one that is called calendar, this computer only. So those are the two calendars I want to synchronize. So let's get started. I need to download the synchronization tool. And uh, do, you do that by going to the URL described here. And it's the newest version. You always go for the latest and you download the zip file. The zip file has now been downloaded and it's available under download here. So you right click or depending on your zip program uh, to extract it. So you have access to the folder, which I have here. I now open the folder and there are two files. I click on the CalDAV synchronizer setup, double click. If this is the first time you are installing this, it will just say, you are now ready to install, but because I already have it, it's saying repair and finish. So normally you just go through next, 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 next until finished. It's now been installed and the synchronizer program has um, been installed on my computer. The program is a plugin within the Outlook. So what I will do now is to close, close down Outlook and I will start Outlook again. This is connected to something else. I will just ignore that for now. Okay, so now we have logged back in again and you will see up here that the CalDAV Synchronizer plugin has been installed and activated in Outlook. Now we have to open this one and click on synchronization profiles, which will bring up a dialog box. I am going to delete this because it was already there and we are going to create a new one. So let's go through the step. You start by clicking add new profile. You get a lot of options on what you can, um, what you can uh, um, synchronize. If you are using the calendar in Nextcloud, for example, you can also synchronize with that instead. But anyhow, for Simbra calendar, we use the generic CalDAV synchronization. So we click OK. You get this screen up, and this is where you have to fill in your information to do the synchronization. First of all, the profile name, I would uh, maybe just say Morton's uh, Calendar Morton, for example. It can be called just a name. Then it's asking, which calendar in Outlook do you want to synchronize to? So I click on this box and here I get a lot of folders up for each of my accounts. And in this case, I will synchronize with calendar this computer only. That was what we talked about in the start. You might have more calendars under other accounts, 
and you can also synchronize to them if it was. But check which calendar you normally use, and that's the one you will normally mark here. So I will say OK, and that has been done. Then I'm going to server settings. And this is where we have to use this URL that we talked about before, where you have to put your own email instead of the one in the PowerPoint presentation. So I will paste in this URL. Then I'm coming to the username, password, and email address. And this is basically your email, password, and email. That has now been filled in. Down here it says synchronization mode, Outlook, server, two-way. This is the correct. And here you can say that it should, for example, synchronize every 10 minutes or every five minutes or whatever you want. Not too often because it, it does create extra traffic in your Outlook that is always starting and doing these things. So maybe 10, 15 minutes is okay, unless you have a very big busy schedule that needs to be synchronized every minute. But normally I would say 10, 15 minutes is okay. So when I have done this, I'll uh, click on test uh, or discover settings. And it comes back and say, connection test successful, which means it should work. So now I will close this and I will close this. So how do we know if it works? Let's do two tests. I will go to my calendar. I'm in the right one. I will go to September the 20th. And I will, uh, I can make a whole day record that says uh, day off made in Outlook. Okay, and I click and I have added this now to my calendar in Outlook. As you know, the synchronization will happen every 10 minutes. So what I will do just to speed up it is that you can do a manual synchronization as well. So I've just clicked that and it's supposed to synchronize up to my Simbra. You don't really need to do it because every 10 minutes it will happen by itself. All right, so now we are going to our Simbra mail. I have logged in to my Simbra calendar and I'm going to September and 20 says day off made in Outlook. It has already synchronized. And the fake font has nothing to do with the synchronization. It just shows up like that if it is a full day event. So now the 21st, I will make an another test in Simbra to make an appointment at nine o'clock calling meeting about smart collection. So I will add this to my main calendar default from eight to 8.30, all okay. And I say, appointment created. So here in my Simbra, this has now been created. And as you know, the synchronization in my Outlook happens every 10 minutes. So just to rush it a little bit, I will click synchronize, synchronize now, which you normally do not have to do. So after a short time, you have this available here as well. So now the setup has been complete. You can add anything in your Outlook calendar. It will show in your Simbra. So whoever have access to your shared Simbra calendar, either read only or edit, they can always see your activities and they can add activities there that will also show up in your Outlook. So this works in all both directions. Sometimes this synchronization stops. And the primary reason for that is if Outlook sometimes is a little bit slow to start, it might disable some of your plugins, for example, the CalDAV synchronizer. So if you have this problem that it suddenly stops working, what you should do is to go to File, go to Option, and then you have something called Add-ins. Here you will see which add-ins are active and which are disactive. So the CalDAV synchronizer should always be up here where it's active. If it for some reason has disactivated itself, 
you have to go to this, go, and it has then lost the tick box, and you just have to put the tick box back in to this one, and then it's operational again. So that is how you do synchronization between Outlook and, uh, and uh, Simbra. So just to sum up, access to Simbra webmail, your username and password, access to the, to the shared URL, which you also can find below this video under description, the download link to CalDAV Synchronizer link you find below description, and if the link should not work, an updated link will show under the description. And last, a PC with Outlook 365 or any other of the newer version. I hope this helps and uh, hopefully you will be able to set up this synchronization. In the next video, we are going to introduce synchronization also down to an Android phone. That's video number three. So see you then.